Aya Leida. Hello, how are you, Leida? Uh, good. It's very early. Yes. <laughs> You're the first one. Congratulations. This is the second time. Good. How was your day? Tell me. Was it good? Um, I, I was working today. Ah, really? Okay. Yes. Are you working at home? Yes. Ah, okay. Very nice. Excellent. Congratulations. Your husband too, right? Yes. Ah, okay. Nice. Well, we have you there. Hi, you there. Xiomara, hello. Hi, good evening. Hi, you there. What happened to you yesterday? I'm uh, pretty good, thank you. <laughs> That's nice, nice. Hey, what happened to you yesterday? You didn't, you didn't show up yesterday. You were listening to the president, right? <laughs> oh no, no, I'm not. Ah, okay. No. What happened? Mm. Estaba un poco aburrido. Ah, you were born. Ah, okay. Uh, the president wa was boring. <laughs> Only bad news, right? Only bad news. <laughs> I I watched yeah. the I watched the video after the the class. And only bad news, but anyways, this is what is happening around the world. It's not just in El Salvador, but I'm I'm very happy to have you here tonight. Okay, very nice, Joanna. Welcome to the class. Okay, Xiomara, Karina, too. Welcome to the class. I'm very happy to have you here. Nice, very, very early. That's very nice, okay? That's it. Well, for today, class, guys, we have a, well, yesterday, for the people who didn't um, a show up yesterday in classes, we studied, okay, some models for uh, requests, okay? A, if I'm not wrong, um, you have a link. Uh, where you can go to the YouTube channel and you can watch the video, okay, from yesterday's class. Just in case you want to know something, okay, you can do it. For today, we are going to jump to section number three, okay. The section number three, it's, um, it's very interesting. There is a topic that it's a little bit, you know, confusing for students sometimes, but I'm going to try to explain, okay, this topic um, easily, okay, and uh, just in case, okay, we have the time because I don't know if today we're going to finish completely the class. Um, we're going to do the exercises tomorrow, okay, but I'm very happy to for you to be here because it is important, okay? Just in case you have questions, ask the questions here to me, okay? Uh, we're going to start, okay? Uh, I hope you had had a dinner tonight, okay? Because we are gonna work a little bit on food, okay? I'm gonna share with you this information, okay? About food first, okay? Uh, for example, Joanna, hello, Joanna. What is your favorite food, Joanna? Hi, Joanna, are you there? No? Maybe she's making a sandwich right now. Hi, oh, you are there. Hi, Joa, how are you? I'm um, fine. Ready, okay, very mm -hmm. nice. I was, I was asking uh, the question, Joanna, okay, um, what your favorite food is? My favorite food is tacos. Ah, tacos. Okay, very good. I love tacos too. Very good. Uh, what about you, Aleida? What's your favorite food? Medas. My favorite food is garlic chin. I'm sorry? Marrucho. My favorite food is... <laughs> <laughs> I put the Garlic chin. Uh, you, what is it? I, I cannot understand. I'm sorry. Can you please repeat? Ah, <laughs> ah, shrimps and garlic. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? You like shrimps? 
Okay, yes. that's delicious. I prefer braided. Uh, braided is uh, panizados, right? Uh -huh. Braided uh, shrimps. Very nice. Yader, what about you? What's your favorite food? My favorite food is estos with green beans. Oh, cream and beans. Very typical. Oh, oh no. Uh, how do you say relleno de jote? Ah, okay. Well, we have a jote feelings. <laughs> feelings es un relleno, pero, but in Spanish, we say relleno de jote. Really, you like the, 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 the jotes? Uh, wow. all, todos los rellenos. Oh, really? Uh, whiskey. Potato, whiskey. Okay, potato. Oh my God. Okay, congratulations. Okay. That's, yeah. I like, I like, I like this kind of food, but it's not my favorite. Okay, but I like this kind mm -hmm. of food. Okay, excellent. What about you, Xiomi? Xiomara, what about your favorite food? My favorite food is lasagna. Oh, lasagna, very good. Chicken, chicken lasagna. lasagna. A chicken lasagna, excellent. Okay, very nice. Karina, what's your favorite food, Kari? My favorite food is the soups, all the soups. Soups, soups. Yeah. <gasps> oh my God, okay, wow. You and Jader have given me like a boom. <laughs> eh, I like, you know, Karina, eh, this soup that is, uh, my mother makes this soup and I like it, is the, the mondongo soup. Ah, you know, la, de la, de pata, we call it, right? <laughs> My mother made uh, some some soup, okay? It was very delicious soup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice, very good. Ceci, what about you? What's your favorite food? Hi, Ceci, are you there? Okay, we jump to Hugo. Okay, Hugo, hello, Hugo. What's your favorite food, hello, Hugo? Hello. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay, Ceci. Nice. Okay. Well, I have a problem with my... Uh, with your microphone. Okay, don't worry. Okay, what's your favorite food before Hugo, right? Um, pizza, maybe. I'm sorry? Uh, maybe pizza. Pizza, okay. Uh -huh. Pizza, any kind of uh, pizza in a specific? Cheese. Only ah, cheese. cheese pizza. Oh, really? Only cheese? Yeah, wow. only cheese. I don't know. My, you know, it's a strange because some people like four cheese pizza. And I yeah. say, cheese is cheese. Uh -huh. <laughs> but there it's, are four kinds. Like bread, bread with cheese. Bread with cheese. Exactly. Very nice. What about you, Hugo? Okay. My favorite food is pizza. Maybe. Pizza too. Ah. Ah, a special, you know, kind of pizza? Meat or um, cheese? Hawaiian? Hawaiiana. Oh, Hawaiian. Okay, very good. You are you are from my team. That's nice. Some people, I, I read memes about the Hawaiian pizza. <laughs> and I feel like, come on, it's delicious. <laughs> okay. Andrea, what about yes. you, Andrea? What's your favorite mm -hmm. name? My favorite food is pupusa. Pupusas, okay, very nice. Yes. Salvadorian, very Salvadorian, Andrea. That's great, okay. What am I asking about this, guys? Because today we're going to talk about food and how to agree or disagree, okay, in some sentences that we can um, make, okay, related to food or any other topic, okay? I have here the food first, okay? That means the first time where they were invented, okay, or created by someone. Okay, we have noodles, we have coffee, chocolate, french fries, sushi, sandwich, you know, the sandwich, pizza, and hamburgers, okay? I will ask oh, Xiomara, please uh, read about noodles and coffee. Hi, Xiaomi. Can you hear me? Uh, so, sorry. <laughs> 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 sorry. 
<laughs> oh my god okay okay don't worry uh, read about noodles and coffee please uh, noodles mm -hmm. first made in china around 100 bce exactly and in china okay uh -huh. and coffee uh, what, that, what does it mean bce this is before christ ah uh, before christ uh -huh. coffee first firm in the middle east in 850. Okay, very good. So in the year 850, fue primer cultivado, mm -hmm. right? In the Middle East, that's it, the coffee. Very old, very old, okay? Very good, tell me. Uh, thank you very much. I will ask, um, let me see, uh, let me see, Karina. Okay, Karina, are you there, Kari? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good, Cari. Read about chocolate and french fries, please. Chocolate. Brought mm -hmm. to Spain from Mexico in, um, I don't know. 15? 15, 20. Exactly. Very good. Remember the years you divide them, okay? 15, 20, okay? 15, 20. Wow, so, okay. It was brought to Spain from Mexico. So, originally from Mexico. Very good. Continue with French fries, please. French fries first made in Belgium uh -huh. around 1680. Aha, uh -huh, 1680. Very good. In Belgium. Okay, very good. So, French fries are not from the United States. No, 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 no. Okay, Belgium. That's it. Sushi. Okay, very good. Uh, I will ask, okay, Shane. Hi, Shane. Can you hear me, Shane? Is Shane there? Well, I see Shane, but maybe he has problems with the microphone. Hello, yes, Shane. Yes, it's there, oh, Tisha. Oh, very good, Shane. Okay. Can you please read sushi and the sandwich, please? Okay, let me think. Okay. Um, sushi, modern style sushi first, made in Japan and the meal, you know, 100. 70s in the, uh -huh, the, the 1700s. Mm -hmm. yes, uh, the sandwich name it for the English Earl of Sandwich in 170, 160, 100. Okay, in this case, Shane, you have to divide the number 1760, 1760. Okay. Ah, okay, 17, uh -huh. 16. That's okay. it. Very good. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, about the sandwich, you see, you the, this food is very old. Okay, really, really old. Okay, I like that, please. Pizza and the hamburger. Thank you. Pizza first pizzeria in New York City opened in 18. 95. 95. Very good. The first pizzeria in New York. And what about the hamburger? Hamburger in Biden. Invented. In, uh, invented in Connect, Connect, Connecticut. Connecticut, USA in 1900. Uh, 1900. Okay, very good. Okay, that's it, the hamburger. So we have noodles, coffee, chocolate, etc. What about you, Edgar? Edgar, mention, okay, from this uh, from this food, the one that we have, uh, noodles, coffee, chocolate, French fries, sushi, sandwich, pizza, and hamburger, I want you to choose your first top, okay? The three first, okay, the, 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 for you. Uh, chocolate. And coffee. Oh, really? And Chocolate is uh, the first one? Uh huh. And coffee no coffee. And a coffee and? And pizza. Okay. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. I didn't know you like chocolate too much. Okay, good. Chocolate, coffee, and pizza. Very good. What about for Jader? What is your favorite, Jader? My favorite is um, chocolate too. Oh, really? Sandwich and hamburger. 
sandwich and hamburgers. Ah, ok, ok. A little different, ok, but you have one in common. Ok, Juan Carlos, what about you? Mention the three top food that you like. Um, the coffee. Coffee. Coffee, mm -hmm. coffee fish, fryer in the meal there. It's a, in a 850. Uh, Okay, okay, coffee. Thing. Coffee is the first one. Mention coffee. other food that you like. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I, coffee, I me like good. Okay, I like it. I like it. Uh huh, very good. What about the second food? Um, uh, sushi. Sushi, ah, okay. And the third food? A modern still sushi feed made in Japan in the 1700. Uh, okay, it's in this case, ya nunca me diga made in, okay? This is like in Salvadorian style. It's okay. made, 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 made in, in Japan. 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 Made in Japan, Japan. Made Japan. in Japan in the 1700. 1700. Okay, okay, very good. Okay, very good. That's it. So you see all this kind of food, the, the first, that's it, the first, uh, the first time it was invented. Okay, this food. Now, what are we going to do here? Okay, I have a chart here with different food. Okay, I have bread chicken, corn, fish, grapes, lamb, mangoes, octopus, pasta, peas, potatoes, rice, shrimp, strawberries, and turkey. Okay, those are uh, the words that I have here. And I have different categories. I have the category number one, which is meat, seafood, fruit, vegetables, and grains, okay? What are we gonna do here? What are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna put the words in the correct category, okay? That's it. I will ask for some, some people here to participate, okay? For example, right now we start with Andrea. Okay, Andrea, are you there? Yes. Okay, very good, Andrea. Can you please give me the first three? Where would you put all these three? Okay, um, bread is uh -huh. grains. Bread and chicken is grain. Uh -huh. Is grain. Okay. Chicken, chicken is meat. Is meat. meat. Very good. Corn is vegetables. Okay, repeat please. Vegetable. Vegetable. Excellent. Okay, very good. Very good. Bread, grain, chicken, meat, and corn. We have vegetables. Excellent. Okay. Um, let me ask, okay, other person here. Okay. Um, Caroline. Hi, Caroline. Hi. Hello, hello, Caroline. Can you please now put these three? Words in the correct category, please. Fish, grapes, and lamb. Um, fish, mm -hmm. um, seafood. In seafood, excellent. Continue. Mm, grapes. I don't know. Grapes and Grapes lamb. is uvas. Uh, uva. And uva lamb is, is fruit. fruit. Okay. Um, grapes is fruit. Fruit. Very good. And lamb, cordero. Uh, lamb and in meat. In meat, excellent. Very good. Edgar. Hello. Mangoes, uh, octopus mangoes, and pasta. Mangoes and fruit. Excellent. Octopus, uh, seafood. Seafood, very good. Um, this is a pasta. Mm -hmm, pasta. Uh, yeah. Um, maybe grains. And grains, excellent. Okay, very good. Thank you, Edgar. Joanna. What about this one? Peas, potatoes, and rice. Um, potatoes is vegetables. Vegetable, very good. Rice is grains. 
Uh huh. Excellent. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about peace? Uh, I don't have idea. No, es la, unas cositas verdes que se le echa la roja a veces. Como, uh, o sea, maybe vegetables. Ajá, uh -huh, vegetables, ok, very good, vegetables, very good, vegetables, vegetable and, and grain, ok, very good, thank you very much, ok, let's start then, uh, shrimp, ok, over here, I need a volunteer for the last category, Yo, ok, I, yes, ok, go ahead, ya ver, ya ver, go ahead, shrimp is seafood, excellent, strawberry is sweet, excellent, turkey is meat, is meat excellent very 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 good okay that's it bread chicken corn fish grapes lamb this is cordero okay mangoes octopus pasta peas potatoes rice shrimp strawberries strawberries and turkey excellent okay now here, what we have here, guys, is something that I want to share with you, okay? Um, I'm going to share with you one topic, which is uh, a little bit confusing, I said at the beginning, okay? But I will try to explain it as simple as possible, so you cannot have a problems understand. Okay, we're going to start with, for example, a here and I'm gonna start with this too okay I have this so okay and I will have this other word too okay vamos a, a como vamos a, a, a estar de acuerdo cuando alguien dice una oración okay for example in Spanish when you when you say hey me gusta el El, las uvas and then Carolina dice hey a mí también right ese a mí también is the one that we're gonna practice today a lot of students say me too a todos le dicen me too me too me too me too me too no es que esté malo pero es bien informal y a veces lo usamos mal ok so I'm gonna start with this one Este so, okay, and to is the ones that we're going to use. La palabra so siempre va a ir al principio, okay? And the word to at the end. So al principio and to at the end, al final de la, de, de la expresión que vamos a aprender. Imagínense que ahorita, eh, well, I will write. Ana, one word that comes to my mind. Ana dice esto. I love, okay, for example here, I love sushi, right? That's it. ¿A quiénes de ustedes, chicos, les gusta el sushi también? Que levante ahí la manita, right? Who I likes love sushi? Too. Aha, uh -huh. okay, Shane, right? He dice yes. Shane. Okay, in this case, Anna dijo, I love sushi. Pero Shane, okay, in this case, quiere decir, hey, a mí también. Tienen dos opciones. O lo dicen con so, o lo dicen con tú. In this case, we're going to start with so. So Shane, usted tiene que decir esto, mire. So do I. Con eso, chicos, usted está diciendo, a mí también. I love sushi. Hey, really, teacher? So do I. Para que ya no diga cada vez, me too. Me too. Ok. Other way. Si no quiere decir so do I, pues dice, ok, I do tú. Miren, yo no estoy usando me too. In this case is, Ana dice, I love sushi. Shane says, hey, a mí también. You have two options. So do I, Ana. 
or I do too, Anna. <gasps> really? Let's go to Sushito. Okay, well, let's go. Right. And you made the conversation. Okay? Look, el so va al principio y el tu va al final. Teacher, ¿y de dónde sacó ese do? Okay? El tu se saca porque la oración que dijo Ana es en present. Ok. Y todas las oraciones que son en presente, usted tiene que usar el auxiliar do. Ok. This is something that you have to keep in mind. Other example. Can you, um, well, José, for example. Viene José y dice, oh my no. God, I like... Okay, I like, um, let me see, mangoes, okay, with, um, uh, let me see, black sauce. That's it. I like mangoes with black sauce. This is very Salvadorian, right? That we eat the mangoes con esa salsa negra. So, ¿a quién de ustedes también le gusta el mango en salsa, con salsa negra? So do I. Exactly. Very good. It is a, a Juan Carlos, right? Hey, a mí también, dice. So, in this case, como la oración es in present, look, is in present, usted va a usar do. So, you say, hey, so do I. ¿Cuál es la otra opción? Ceci. Yo no quiero decir so do I. Quiero decir la otra opción. ¿Cuál sería? I like to. Ok. In this case, no. no. No tengo que usar. In this case, no se usa el verbo. Se usa el auxiliar que usted usa en presente. Tiene que hacerlo igual acá. Igualito. Mira. Uh -huh. I do too. I do too. Exactly. I do too. Ok. Ceci me dijo esto. I like to. ¿Verdad? ¿Puede ser correcto, Ceci, si usted me le agrega aquí esto? I like it to. ¿Ok? That's okay. it. No problem. Pero también, Ceci, puede ser correcto si usted me dice toda la oración. I like mangoes. ¿Ok? With black. Tú. Uh, ahí está. So, ahí es donde usted decide, right? A mí me gustaría mejor la primera, más corta, ok? If you consider you have a very good memory where you can repeat all the sentence, ok? Ok, that's it, ok? Eh, en este caso, bueno, cuando digo así, hay que tener cuidado. Si se fija aquí, Edgar, mangos es singular o plural? Plural. Uh -huh. Al chile. Plural, ajá. Entonces le vamos a poner el I like them too. O sea, me gustan los mangos. Ok, that's it. Si aquí en, en Ana, por ejemplo, cuando Ana dijo I love sushi, you can say so do I, o I do too. O como dijo este aquí la compañera, I, ok, love it. To. Aquí sí va el it porque pues sushi is ok, in singular. Ok, that's it. So this is when you are using a positive sentences. Ok, other example. Ok, Andrea. Vamos a ver Andrea. ¿Qué es lo que? That's it. One, one favorite thing. Let's see. For example, in this case, Andrea can say, Ah, oh, teacher, yo puedo cocinar muy bien. I can cook. Okay, very well. Así me dice Andrea, right? I can cook very well. Okay. okay. ¿Quién de ustedes puede cocinar también rico? Bien. Que se considere que tiene buena mano. Uh -huh. To do I. Ajá. Ok. Cuidado acá. Si se fijan, ahora yo ya no tengo el verbo solito. Miren. ¿Qué tengo ahora? K. 
Chicken. ¿Ok? Quiere decir que va a decir So do I, I do too. Cuando mire que el verbo va solo, sin ningún eh, modal, sin should, sin can, etc. Pero acá ya le agregué este modal. I can cook very well. Entonces aquí ya no me pueden decir so do I. Aquí me va a responder con el modal can. So, for example, Aleida, Aleida dice, ah, yo también. Entonces Aleida va a decir, so can I. Look, así se diría, yo también, cuando la persona está usando can. ¿Ok? I can cook very well. So can I. Other answer. ¿Cuál sería la otra respuesta, Xiaomi? ¿Cuál sería la otra respuesta? I can too. I can too. Perfect. ¿Ve? That's it. ¿Ok? Aquí ya no ponemos el do. ¿Por qué? Porque en la oración que me dijo Andrea ya usó el can. ¿Ok? So, this is something that you have to pay attention, ¿ok? Ahorita estoy diciendo a todo, yo también, yo también, yo también, ¿ok? That's it. Other example. Eh, for example, Yader says, ¿ok? Yader says, Ay, teacher, I will travel, ¿ok? To Spain. I will try to Spain in... Well, hoy ya no, ya yes. no el otro año, ¿eh? 2030. <risa> ok. Va, seamos positivos para allá, de Vamos a hacer en el 2021. Va, 2021, right? Ok. I will travel to Spain in 2021. Ya de says so, ok. Y por ahí, pues, dice también, eh, for example, Karina, right? Ah, yo también voy a ir a ver a mi hermana, right? So, Karina... Is going to answer. Okay, Karina, are you there? Yes, yes. Okay, Kari. Si se fijan, hoy ya cambié. Ya no dije can. Ahora, ¿qué auxiliar estoy usando? Will. Will. Exactly. So, what Will. is the answer? Uh -huh. So, ¿Cómo diría Will. yo también? Uh -huh. So, will I. Excellent. Other option? Eh, I will I, too. I, uh -huh. I will, will too. too. Excellent. Very, very, very good. Look, that's it. Si se fijan, yo voy dando la respuesta dependiendo del auxilio, right? If I will, I will have to use will. If the person use can, I have to give the answer with can. In this case, hey, no auxiliar. So, you infer that is present, so you use do, okay? Other example, okay? This is good for you to have si, a variety si, of examples. Y yes, si dijéramos, si dijéramos eh, lo que acaba de decir de Yaved, Yaved, uh -huh. I will travel to Spain in 2021. Uh -huh. Y si yo lo quiero decir, no puedo viajar en el 2021. Ah, ok. Muy bien. Eh, very good. Ok. Porque Karina dijo, yo también, pero yo no tengo dinero. Entonces yo voy a decir, yo no. Yo no voy a viajar. Entonces solo lo hace negativo y dice, I want. Hmm. ¿Ven? ¿Qué es want? Is the negative for will. ¿Qué pasa si Andrea dijo, I can cook very well? Aileida dijo, ah, so can I. Ah, pero Hugo. No, hombre, Hugo, como es soltero, va Hugo. <ríe> ok, Hugo dice, yo no puedo. So, what is the answer? I can't. Ok, that's it. Quiere decir, chicos, que esta parte de acá, so can I, I can do, this one, is when you agree, cuando usted está de acuerdo con lo que le dicen. Pero esta parte es cuando usted no está de acuerdo con lo que le dicen. Por ejemplo, en mi caso, I love sushi. 
<risa> Teacher Iris no come nada de eso. Uh -uh. So, ¿Cómo dijera yo no? I don't. I don't. Excellent. Very good. Pero a los que sí les encanta el sushi, oh, so do I, teacher. I do too, Ana. <laughs> teacher, it is, uh, um, no, I don't. No, I don't know. Eh, Chana igual. I, I don't like, I don't like Chinese. I, um, ah, porque trae I el coronavirus. <laughs> ok, that's it. Lo mismo con I like mangoes. Si no les gustan los mangos con salsa negra, pues entonces diga, I don't. Ok. Si no puede cocinar, I can't. Y si no puede ir a España, I won't. Ok. That's it. But this is, uh, this is when you are not in agreement. Este es cuando usted no está de acuerdo. Ok. Pero ahorita estamos aprendiendo cómo estar de acuerdo con alguien. Ok. But de... de, de, de The comment was very nice. Okay. Other. Other examples that we can have here. Miren en pasado. Okay. For example, eh, Shane. Tengo Shane aquí. Shane dijo, for example, Ay, teacher. I ate. Okay. For example, chicken yesterday. Okay. That's it. Shane dijo esto. La oración es in past. Look, the verb is in past. So, ¿quién de ustedes comió pollo ayer? Vamos a ver, ¿ok? Who ate chicken yesterday? For, for lunch o, o dinner? Sopa. Uh -huh. de Sopa de pollo. Sopa de pollo, ok, Juan Carlos. Ok, so Juan Carlos said, ¿cómo dijera ahora? Hey, yo también. Shane said, I ate chicken yesterday. I, 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 uh -huh. Ajá. I, I, Ahora I, usamos I, el auxiliar en pasado. What uh, is the auxiliar in past? What is the auxiliar did. in past? Did. did. Very good. So, como dijeran, eh, hey, yo también, pero en pasado. Ajá. Yo so, también. So, I, so I, did I. So did I. Excellent. ¿Y la otra forma? I did too. I did too. Very good. Okay. That's it. So here you have, okay, the, the different ways to express, in this case, is positive. Positive, okay, sentences. I love sushi. So do I. I like mangoes. Hey, so do I. I can cook very well. So can I. I will travel. So will I. I ate chicken yesterday. So did I. Eso es cuando usted está de acuerdo con la que le dijo la persona con la que está hablando. Okay? This is when you are in agreement. Okay? In agreement. So you have two possibilities. Si quieren usen so, or if you want, you can use to. Mucha gente solo usa me too, me too, me too, me too. ¿Ok? Y cuando alguien le responda así, se van a quedar como el que dijo. ¿Ok? So it's important to know different ways to be, ¿ok? To express agreement, ¿ok? With someone. Is there a question right now related to this part? Questions with this? No. No, that's okay? Yes. That's okay. okay. But we're going to do some other exercises, okay? The idea is if you make a mistake, that's That's good because you're learning, okay? That's nice. Okay, for example, in this case, Hugo, I will start with you, okay? The person A says, you have to be in agreement. Todos van a estar de acuerdo, okay? A lo que diga la persona aquí, okay? Uh, for example, you can say like this, for example, I can speak, okay, English. 
Okay, that's it. Hugo, I can speak English. What is the answer, Hugo? ¿Cuál es su respuesta ante esto que le dice a alguien? Hey, yo puedo hablar inglés. So, what is the, the answer for this? Lo digo yo, teacher. I, I yeah, so porque can... Hugo, Hugo está, quizás ahí no está. Ajá. Ok, Juan Carlos, go ahead. So can I am. So can I. So can I. Excellent, very good. Other, other way? I can too. I can too, excellent. Very good, okay, very good. Other, other one, okay. I drove my car last night. I drove my car last night. Aleida, yo quiero que usted diga, eh, hey, yo también. I drove my car last night. Okay. Ah, so did I. So did I. In the other way? I did too. I did too. Excellent. Very good. Why? Because the sentence is in past. Okay. Very good. Let's continue. Uh, let me see. I have uh, more people here. Let's see. Let's see. I'll choose Xiomara. Okay, Xiomara. I'm going, this is for you, Xiomi. Are you there, Xiomi? Sí, sí. Aha, okay. I'm going to do the exercises tomorrow. Okay, that's it. Voy a hacer los ejercicios mañana. So, yo quiero que usted me diga, yo también, teacher. So will I? Look here. Estoy usando will? No, ¿verdad? No. ¿Qué estoy usando aquí? Am. Um, so el verbo to be. do I? Aquí estoy usando el am. Ese o mi. Mire. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I don't know. Ok. So, am. Am um, I. I. Mire. Sí. Cuando vea el verbo to be, use el verbo to be. Cuando mire el verbo en pasado, use did. Cuando vea can, use can. Cuando vea un verbo en presente, pues use el do. ¿Ok? Si mira will, use will. Si usa el verbo to be, pues use el verbo to be. ¿Ok? That's it. ¿Cómo sería la otra forma, Xiaomi? What is the other way? I am, I am I, 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 perdón, I am too. I am too. Okay, very good. Okay, I am too. This is the other way. Okay. Vamos a otro, otro chance a Xiaomi because yo le puse una trampa ahí, Xiaomi, I'm sorry. <laughs> que no habíamos visto ese con el, el verb to be, okay. Xiaomi, once again, okay. Mm -hmm. For example, in this case, this person says, okay, I... Well, I will, I will change it with this. Okay. I am a, a very hard working person. Okay. That's it. I am a very hard working person. Soy una persona muy trabajadora. Y Xiaomi me dice, yo también. So Xiaomi, what is the answer? So am I. So am I. Aha, uh -huh, very good. And the other, in the other way, show me. I am too. I am too. Okay. Very, very good. Okay. That's it. Letter A. Okay. This is for a uh, Karina. Okay, Karina. That's it. Um, I will be busy. Okay. Okay. To row. That's it. I'll be busy tomorrow, Karina. So will I. So will I. Okay, very good. And the other way? I will do. Okay, excellent. I will do. Okay, very good. Okay, so will I. I will do. Okay, so you see, 
when you use the auxiliary can, the agreement is with can. The verb is in past, the agreement is with did. Am, am, the verb be, okay? Uh, if it is with will, you use will. Pero si miran eh, oraciones o, o, o le dicen oraciones en presente, well, you have to use the auxiliar do. Okay, that's it. This is related with eh, cuando sola le dicen, sí, yo también. Okay, that's it. Questions so far? Questions? Comments? Sí, ya, no se puede decir, ya no se puede decir, Tiche, eh, YouTube, digamos, como siempre lo ha mencionado, lo que te dice, ¿vale? me dice... Ah, el Me Too. Como, como si yo le dijera a usted, Dios le bendiga, God bless you, y usted me dice, YouTube. Ah, ok, ya, yeah, pero ese es ya no es... es otro, otro, sí, otro significado. Oh, okay, otro okay. significado, yes, ok. No, aquí es cuando usted está de acuerdo que la otra persona dice... Por ejemplo, un, un ejemplo, yo le digo, yo creo en Dios. ¿Qué me dice Joana? Ah, no, solamente dice, ah, vaya. <ríe> no, right? Que usualmente cuando tenemos una conversación con amigos y todo, hey, fíjate, Joana, que yo creo en Dios. ¿Qué dice Joana? Uh -huh. Es lo más común que hacemos. Eh, hey, yo también. Qué bueno, te felicito, ¿ve? ¿eh? Etcétera, ¿ok? So, lo común que dice el estudiante es todo dice me too. Y no es malo. O sea, pero es bien informal, ¿ok? So, I am teaching you other ways to say me too. ¿Ok? So, that's why you know. Ahora bien, los alumnos me dicen, bueno, pero es bueno me too. That's okay, I said, well, depends on the situations. Y ya me dicen, ah, pues mejor este voy a seguir usando. Well, ok, no les puedo eh, decir que es malo o whatever. La idea es que sepan, porque cuando ustedes viajen o tengan contacto con el idioma, van a escuchar videos, películas, y a veces uno no entiende, ok, o van a leer en libros, y van a ver esas expresiones, so you, now you understand the meaning, ok? That's it. This is only when you are in agreement. Este es el famoso, yo también, ok? That's it, yo también. Pero tenemos también este, miren, el either, el neither, el famoso either, Ok, y el neither. ¿Qué significan esos? Ese es el que digo tampoco. Ok, so and to guys is for positive sentences. Either and neither is for negative sentences. Negative sentences. Quiere decir que si alguien le dice algo en negativo y usted quiere decir, eh, yo tampoco, usted va a usar either or neither, ¿ok? Whatever you want, ¿ok? Either. Uh -huh. no, no. Exactly. Either. Es eh, lo informal de esto es, eh, for example, me, me either, yo tampoco, ¿ok? Oigo mucho salvadoreño y esto lo digo pues porque tengo experiencia hablando y por el lenguaje, pues yo puedo percibir. A veces hablamos mal, los salvadoreños le dicen, ah, pues yo no hice los ejercicios, eh, yo también vos. <ríe> Pero está mal dicho eso. Si yo no hice y en negativo, usted no va a decir yo también, usted va a decir yo tampoco. So in English is the same. ¿Ok? Y vamos a lo mismo. Si usa can, ¿ok? Can't, can't. Si usa el, eh, el pasado, el didn't, didn't. ¿Ok? So, la misma regla del so y el to is for either and neither. ¿Ok? Se lo voy a cambiar aquí para que no se confundan. El neither is exactly, guys. 
es como que dija, uh, dijéramos aquí el neither, el so, que va al principio. Y el either eh, va al final, ¿ok? So, for example, I'm going to start giving you this example and you say, ay, 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 I'm not, ok, ready for, for the exam. I'm not ready for the exam. Ese lo dice, uh, for example, here, I'm going to make up a name. Ok, Jorge, I'm not ready for the exam. And then, eh, for example, Aleida dice, <laughs> yo tampoco. So, you have to say, neither, ve, am I. Look, aquí el not is neither. Así que no me van a poner neither I am not, no. El not usted lo evita. ¿Por qué? Porque está usando el neither, ¿ok? Neither am I. Y rescata el verbo to be, pone el verbo to be, ¿ok? Neither am I. Si no quiere decir eso, pues diga, ¿ok? I am, aquí sí, mire, I am not either. Look. Con eso se está diciendo yo tampoco. Neither am I, I am not either. ¿Ok? ¿Por qué? Porque Jorge dijo, yo no estoy listo para el examen. Yo tampoco. ¿Ok? Neither am I. When you use neither, the verb, in this case, or the auxiliar, is in positive. When you use either, The auxiliar is in negative, okay? Other example, Anna, once again. I, I can uh, drive a car, okay? Dijo Anna, I can drive a car. And Hugo says, yo tampoco. So what is the answer for this one? Me dijo, yo tampoco. So you have to say, Neither, como we said, neither, the auxiliary is in positive. Can I? Look, neither can I. Or the other option is, ah, como voy a usar either, ahí sí lo pongo negativo. I can't either. Look. Y con eso estoy diciendo, yo Tampoco, ¿ok? It depends. If you see, the sentences are in negative. Look, that's it. Other example, ¿ok? Sandra says, I didn't, ¿ok? I didn't do the exam last night. I didn't do the exam last night. And, uh, for example, Andrea says, okay, yo tampoco lo hice. So, what is the, the disagreement here? So, you say, and neither, look, neither, the auxiliar is in positive. Did, I. I. Exactly. And with two, I, I'm sorry, with either, I say, I. I didn't. didn't, exactly, either, yeah. that's it. Y con eso usted está diciendo, yo tampoco, ok? But now the sentences are in negative, look, that's it. So, oreja bien lista, cuando alguien le diga una oración, si es en negativo y usted dice yo tampoco, So you have to use neither or either. Allá en, en Europa dicen neither o either. Porque lo puede escuchar en audios que diga neither or either. In America we say neither and either. ¿Ok? Questions? I know this topic is a little bit confusing. 
Sé que necesitamos práctica, ok, but tomorrow we're going to practice this part. Uh -huh. Because it's a little bit confusing, I know. But you have to keep in mind this, ok. Bye. Pueden estudiar así. El so y el tú es cuando yo estoy de acuerdo. El so va a ir primero y el tú va a ir al final, pero no es que él vaya a usar los dos. Usted decida cuál le gusta más, ¿ok? Eh, si la oración va en presente, pues usted va a usar el auxiliar do. If the sentence uses can, you use can. Will, will. ¿Ok? Eh, the verb in past, did. For, uh -huh, for disagreement, por las cosas que usted está en, des, en ese caso, no está de acuerdo, pues solo le pone negativo. Por ejemplo, I like cats. Oh, I don't. ¿Ve? A mí no. Pero si a usted también le gustan, usted dice, oh, so do I. O I do too. In this case, for saying yo tampoco, the sentence is in negative. Ok, and you have to use neither or either. But remember, when you use neither, the auxiliar has to be in positive. And when you use either, the auxiliar is in negative. Ok, that's it. So, um, this is... Uh, This is a, 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 the explanation, okay, for, for this part. Uh, well, you can watch the video in the, in the platform, okay? You can watch the video in the platform. Here, this is, this is from the platform, okay? Esto es lo que está aquí. That's it. We're going to ask, okay, uh, Karina, can you help me to read, please? So, okay. two, neither and either. Okay, please help me to read, just two wrap up the topic. I like Japanese food a lot. Mm -hmm. Why? I do too. Really? I don't like it. I don't like it very much. Very much. Very good. Así, esta es como que estuvieran hablando dos personas. Le dice la primera, hey, a mí me gusta la comida china. O, ¿De verdad? A mí también. O puede decir, ¿de verdad? Uh, a mí no mucho, ¿ves? ¿eh? You only use the negative if you're not in agreement. Very good. Uh, next, please. I'm crazy. I'm crazy about Italian food. So, so am I. Mm -hmm. Oh, I am not. Okay, very good. Como usamos el verb to be, you use the verb to be. Continue, please. Number five. I really spicy food. Mm -hmm. I, I can too. Really, I can't. I can't. Okay, very good. That's it. You see, when you use can, can. Verb to be, verb to be. In this case, un verbo en presente, pues usan do. Okay, that's it. Yader, please read the negatives, the examples. Okay. I don't like salty food. Mm -hmm. Neither do I. I don't eat it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like it a lot. Very good. Este tercero es como que, ah, a mí sí me gusta, right? Okay. Oh, I like it a lot. Continue, please, ya there. Okay. I'm not in the mood for India food. Neither am I. Mm -hmm. I'm not either. Really? I am. I am. Very good. And the last one? I can stand fast food. Neither can I. I can either. either. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Okay, very good. This expression is I can stand fast food. This is like no soporto la comida rápida, right? Ah, oh, yo tampoco. Neither can I or I can't either. Pero si a usted le encanta, pues diga, oh, I love it. Oh, I like it. Okay, etc. etc. Okay, so we have been practicing. Okay, in this case, sé que fue una clase quizás gramatical, but it's important. Tomorrow we have full practice for this topic, but please try to understand 
go to the platform, watch the video once again. And if you didn't understand today or you have comments or something, watch this video tomorrow in YouTube, right? We have the channel from Inglés Corporativo. You can watch the explanation once again, okay? That's it. Y lo hice más español que inglés, yo lo sé. Eh, lo voy a volver a explicar después full inglés porque es un tema nuevo, ¿ok? Pero lo que a mí me interesa es que usted lo entienda, ¿ok? Eh, lo, ese es mi propósito, que usted entienda el tema. De nada me sirve estar hablando full inglés y usted quizás no me entiende, más que es un tema nuevo. I want to make sure you understand the topic very well, ¿ok? Si gustan, pues mañana en la mañana o si les encanta desvelarse, pues hoy en la noche hagan los ejercicios de la plataforma. And that's it. Let's see if you understood this, ¿ok? Esto, chicos, es para decir a mí también o a mí tampoco, ¿ok? So, to for positive sentences, neither and either for negative sentences, ¿ok? Questions, comments. No, teacher. No? Okay, well, the time Ahorita. is on. Today Ahorita. it's okay. <laughs> Ahorita en la plataforma iría por esta clase, teacher. Excellent, Porque okay. la otra ya la hice, solo por esta iría. Very good. Do the exercises. Con lo que he explicado, vaya a hacer el ejercicio. Yo subo el video mañana en la mañana, okay, porque se tiene que convertir y tarda bastante tiempo, pues entonces no lo... Usualmente no, no, no lo hago en la noche, pero sí mañana en la mañana va a estar este video en, la, en YouTube. Ok, that's okay. it. Do the exercises okay. and any, any help you want, I'll be there to help you out. Ok, thank you for joining the class tonight, guys. Ok, good night. Quédense everybody. en casa. Quédense en casa. Yeah, stay home. Good night. Good night, Quédense everybody. Good night.